In a battle right now, the winner is going to take home 1,261,000. Second place, close to 900,000. Breck, 63 million. He starts with Steven with 36 million. Let's go down to it. Nice A7 of diamonds by Breck. Make it 1.6 to go, Steven. With a nothing jack six, though, we'll compete. Makes this call. Flop is a jack eight seven. Steven out flops him, hits the jacks, checks it. And Brex gonna check back. Turn card will be a 10 of diamonds. Breck picks up a flush draw to go with the bottom pair. Steven checks top pair with the low kicker on this four straight board. And now Breck will start the betting at a million. Steven's gonna make the call here, going to the river. River card is a king of diamonds, a flush for Breck, home run. Great start to the heads up match for Breck. Breck's gonna bet two million. Well, I would like Breck to go a little bigger here. It's possible Steven could have a nine that would pay off almost any size. He could have two pairs. Instead, the jack not gonna pay off the smaller bet. And so Breck will collect that pot with the river nuts. Steven's kicking himself, saying, why did I have to mess around with Jack Six? Steamroller. And pick a pan, it helps. One. Absolutely. Well, Phil Helmuth, the raw deal, always right. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> and right now, game of strategy happening, but everything rolling Breck Scutton's way so far. Steven continues to limp in. Now, I'm all for limping in heads-up matches as you get down around 20 blinds and you need to see a lot of flops, but as you're more chipped up, you do need to be raising in position pretty often, and Steven continues the passive play on this 4-4-3 flop where he has a gut shot to the nuts, and with seven high, I think he should be trying to bet and win the pot immediately. Let's see if he does on the turn. Seven hundred. Steven gonna go with more of a delayed C bet here and bet 700,000. Breck with a seven. Senses his hand is still good and makes the call. Going to the river. Oh, it's a five home run there for Steven Snyder hitting the straight. Well, the wheels are turning in Breck's mind, but I'm not sure why. I don't think he wants to turn his hand into a bluff here. Now, Steven, again in a spot where he has a big hand and his opponent could have a second best hand, so we see him cutting out a big bet there, and I love it. 5.2 million, really nice big bet from Steven. Breck doesn't have enough to call him here, but I think other times when he has a four or a nine, Steven gets paid off nicely. Steven needed that. Heads up battle will continue. They're so good, I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> I love when I have two hearts in my hand. What a great charity poker event for education reform now. And Tony, you did a great job hosting it. Well, thank you, Vince. We always have a beautiful setting and crowd for the Take Them to School charity poker tournament. And they raised over $1.5 million for education reform now. Oh. Just a fantastic event I look forward to every year. Breck with ace eight of diamonds. Steven continues his unfortunate trend of limping. Now Breck raising it up to 2.2 million. Breck thinks he's way out in front, but as we know, Steven has him pipped with the ace nine. Steven thinks about it and makes this call. Flop is an ace, queen, three. They both hit aces. Now this could lead to a big win for Steven if his kicker is good on the river and he builds this pot. Breck gonna do the work for him with a bet of 1.6 million. And Breck has to think he's way out in front after Steven limped in. 
So he should be thrilled to get this call. And with the five of hearts on the turn, we have two flush draws. If I'm in Breck's shoes, I just keep betting. But no, he will check. And if I'm in Steven's shoes, I can't wait to bet. You have to bet now. You know the man slowed down. Oh, boy. He checks back. So a king on the river and a missed opportunity for Steven to build this pot. Breck has to think his ace-8 is good. Call. And he's going to block, try and get a little bit of value. He gets snap called and is surprised to learn that ace nine from Steven is the winner here. So not as big as it should have been, but the pot is slid in the direction of Steven. That could have been a lot bigger. Glad it wasn't. Breck, pretty happy with the result outside of the fact that he lost. Yeah, Steven a little cautious there, of course, but breaks in that pot. This time, Breck with a pair of fours. We'll make it 1.6 to go. Steven with a seven, three of clubs will make the call. And the flop will be a king, seven, three, two pair on the flop for Steven. What a flop for him. He's gonna check it. Well, not a bad flop for Brex fours. Disconnected board. So he'll bet a million, hope to just take it down right now or get a call from a three. But as we know, Steven has two pair and he's gonna check raise. Breck gets out of the way and Steven, looking cool, calm and collected, drags in this pot. I was always real susceptible to, to tilting and you know getting aggravated when things didn't go my way and, and that's not a good thing in poker. When uh, 2021 started, I was like, and, you know, having to make a lot of adjustments and kind of recalculating some things in my personal life. And um, it's led me to a place to where I was mentally stronger than I ever have been previously in my career. My mental focus, my mental attitude, just, just my mindset has led me to be right here in this moment. And I'm just, I'm focused and I'm just ready. I, I'm peaking, I guess you could say. Now, well, Steven Snyder's stack is peaking as well. Now about 40 million after that 7-3 hand, hitting two pair. The blinds are going up to four and 800 with an 800,000 big blind, Andy. Breck is gonna raise to two million. Steven is making the call. Flop is a king six eight. How about that? Another two pair for Steven. Digs the hole, puts the branches and the twigs over it, waiting for the sucker to fall in. Hello, Breck. Steven has an option between calling and raising. And there it comes, the trap. 3.8 on top. Now again, with Steven's image for passivity, Breck with a pair figures out that it's not likely to be good and gets out of the way. So another pot for Steven, but he's winning the small ones, losing the big ones. We'll see if he can turn it around coming up after this. <laughs> well, Breck handling the pressure beautifully tonight is gonna be famous at his hospital should he win here tonight. Absolutely what he's seen in the last year and a half. He's a true hero to help out so many. And he's getting rewarded because he's catching good and playing good. Karma may pay off for him tonight. And now, using excellent hand selection to turn this king eight lawsuit into a three bet bluff and come over the top of Stevens open. And it's gonna work. It's strong play continues from Breck Scutton. He's got a lot of poise. He has a lot of tricks in his bag. really in control. This time he's got a 9-6. And he will call it. Just call. Got to make it interesting, right? Disappoint me, man. Got to make it interesting. Disappoint me. Steven's saying, what's going on? No raise here, huh? But see, now you're already thinking, like, I want to see this one on TV, right? 
Rock is having so much fun. It's infectious. Both of them happy to see the flop. Flop is a king, queen, queen. Well, now after the limp, Breck will stab at this king, queen, queen flop. And Steven with Jack high will continue. A little surprised by that call, but he does have the best hand. Ten of clubs on the turn will give both players a straight draw, but it is Stevens that's superior. Does Breck want to keep firing now? Both players check the turn, and on this three of diamond river, they have both missed. So whoever bets wins. Steven checks once more, perhaps believes his jack guy is good. Will Breck try and bluff his way out? Jack. No, he'll resign this pot over to Steven. A little surprised that Breck didn't bluff at it, but he knows that Steven has leaned passive and might check strong to him more often than some players. So he gives up on that one and Steven takes it down. A good jack high was calling me on the river too. Mm -hmm. I thought how tilting would that be if I had just fired like six million on the river and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna make a six million jack high call. Well, it's kind of refreshing. These guys are very friendly. It's not cutthroat. It's not angry, bitter against each other. I have to win. Even though they're playing for big dollars and a big title, I think they're both very grateful to be here and feeling good about the amount of money that they've locked up already. This is a historic event and a massive $1.2 million first prize awaits our eventual winner. Well, Steve with ace queen has raised. He's getting the call by queen six. The flop is an eight, five, four. Not a bad flop for Breck with the queen six and the six of diamonds to get creative. Gonna check it now. Steven will check behind. I like that check. Leading to the king of clubs on the turn. Breck will take a stab at it. I'm less confident that betting the king is coherent to the story that Breck is telling. And what to do if you're Steven? Steven, unconvinced. You will make it over three million here. Yep, this is cat and mouse time. This is a surprising and impressive raise from Steven. Well, Steven certainly has the right image to get away with this. Breck, what to do? You don't have much, but he's coming back over the top. He says, I read you, you're not that strong. Makes it 10 million total. My goodness, I did not see this coming, but brilliant play from Breck. And Steven has to go out. Wow, what a bluff from Breck there. We'll have more exciting action from our Seminole Hard Rock final table coming up after this. This is a lot like the first level. It's a little different for me than the first level. It's gotten in the lead. <laughs> About a two to one advantage for the time being. We are playing 400,000, 800,000 with an 800,000 big blind ante. Breck Scotton, registered nurse and he is gonna make it two million with an ace queen. Steven with the quick call holding eight five of clubs. And it's king seven five, two spades and a diamond. So Steven takes the lead with bottom pair. Gonna go check, check. To the turn, a king. Well, Steven could stay passive. He could start the betting. Let's see what he does. He will keep it passive. Breck, same position, decides to check back. And with an ace on the river, Breck will lock up this pot. Steven will check one more time. Now a question of bet sizing. It is three million. And I think after checking down, Steven should get away from this one. Nope, he's gonna call. And you can see the frustration in his face. You weren't folding the turn anyway. What? You weren't folding anyway. So good things happening for this man in his first ever WPT tournament. I mean, the jam looks a little weird, but... What's that? A jam looks a little weird and <laughs> makes me think for a while. <laughs> Blinds are five and a million at this point. 
And Breck now with just an 8.5. And this time he makes a 2.5 with a junk hand. Steven with a quality ace deuce of diamonds just calling. Going to the flop. And here is the flop. It is a 5-5-10, five, five, two diamonds, three of a kind for Breck, four flush for Steven. Check by Steven. Yeah, potentially an action flop here. I actually think Steven should play his hand passively. Breck has bet two million. I know it's tempting to raise sometimes in these spots, but I actually think with the ace high flush draw, your hand could be good without making the flush. You essentially have a bluff catcher and a flush draw. I think that Steven should call. Easy for me to say, staring at Breck's trips right in the face. But unfortunately, Steven is gonna check raise to 4.8 million and get himself in hot water. Well, how does Breck want to play this? Three better call. Just a call. Go into the turn. Will a diamond appear? No diamond, seven of hearts. Now Steven's in that predicament. Nothing materialized. You know, your man called you with the raise on the flop. Well, Steven, reaching for chips, gonna follow through after the check raise and bet 5.2 million. And this is the dilemma with playing an ace high flush draw fast. You can't get worse hands to call and you can't get better hands to fold on a board like 10557. The decision for Breck, does he wanna call or move all in and charge Steven the maximum to realize the equity on his draw. Clock is ticking down. Will it take more time or will just... All in. Announces all in, so back to Steven. Does he want to call off his tournament with the ace high flush draw? Steven's hating himself. Well, it didn't have to go down like this, Vince. Now Steven in a bind, telling himself maybe Brett could have a worse flush draw. Maybe I've put in too much money to fold. Lock is ticking down. He can take more time. That's what he's going to do. And every now and then he'll catch Breck with a worse draw, but not a lot of those to go around. So the clock's ticking down. He's got a big dilemma. He makes the crying call and hopes to catch. Well, this pot got a lot bigger than it had to be for Steven, so he now finds himself all in, at risk, and behind. Drop a deuce on the river. <laughs> I can't, man. I'm gonna fold and leave myself 16 million. So open you had eight, nine, something like that. Brack needs to fade a diamond on the river, except for the eight of diamonds that would give him a full house. It's gonna happen, deuce of clubs on the river. Breck Scutton has done it. And Breck Scutton, your newest Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown champion. But our runner up, Steven Snyder, Great player, came in second place, will take home 900,000. Let's see what he has to say. Um, I mean, I, I, you can't complain. I mean, the biggest WPT field in history and you get second place, I mean, you know, take it all day long. Yeah, um, you know, the old cliche, it's always bittersweet not to win it when you get this close. But you know, whatever, I mean, 900,000, I'll take it <laughs> for sure. Well, you gotta hand it to Breck, our winner of the WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown. He gets first place cash, and Vince, it is a ton, $1.26 million. That is some big bucks. Now, don't forget, he will also get the Ublo watch and a set of Baccarat crystal glasses. And since everything does taste better in Baccarat, let's raise a glass to the new WPT champion, Breck Scutton.
That's going to wrap it up for Season 18 of The World Post.